Hello, collective. Oh, how you doing, baby? How you doing, babies? Once again, I say hello, collective. Welcome to Pound Star Oracle. I'm Pound. Nice to meet you. I got my Kali Ma statue over here, stepping on her Lord Shiva husband. <laughs> That's what this is, okay? And I put her little axe in her hand. She, chop, she knows how to chop off people's heads, okay? That's just for jokes. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Pam. I have my own personal decks that I use that I made by hand. And I have a, a wonderful array of cards. I got, I think, 115 decks, so... You should be able to find out plenty of information here. I like using these cards. So that's the ones I'm using. Oh, wow, psychometry. Ooh, it's about sensitivity. You can pick up an object and you can feel energy, you know. And I have that quality myself. I can touch an object and, and sometimes pick up on that person's energy. And I thank God for uh, those qualities because not everyone is lucky to have those qualities you know what collective uh communication S so somebody at the moment has a lot of uh, sensitive communication they're taking a lot of things to heart uh letting things bother them and we and you need to be patient patient so so maybe someone is patiently waiting to talk to you when you stop being so sensitive in your marriage. And maybe, you, maybe you're helping guide this person, you know. Tarot guidance, that's why it came out. Um, maybe uh, you get tarot guidance from someone, you know, like me. Or maybe you are... Maybe you do tarot, too, but uh, all I know is somebody's feeling real sensitive at the moment. And then I see Venetians, you know, and this must be your lover. This must be your lover that somebody's in a little tiffy with or something. Tiffy, piffy, whatever it is. Spirit, what's one of these um, alien cards to help figure out this under sensitivity? Okay, so, uh, starseed. Starseed, you're someone, and that's what I am. I am a starseed, so you're able to, uh, pick up people's energy by touching an object. And if you're like me, you don't have to touch an object. You can just feel, you can feel it in your fucking gut if something ain't right. I mean, that's how I've always been. You know what, collective... I'm sorry that it's hard for y'all to see them. I gotta push them well here. Sorry about that, you guys. And under communication is earth element. So I think that maybe you're connected to an earth sign that you might be married to, and maybe you put it in the plane of divine, your relationship. I don't know. And, but it says Evans came out patience, mystery. Hang on a minute. And then we got Men in Black. So, so Men in Black is underneath tarot down here. So, what it's saying is, let me turn on my light. Hang on a second, Collective. I hope that you can see it better. Sorry, I wasn't thinking about it. I didn't, I thought y'all could see, but maybe it was a little hard. At daylight savings time come back remember so now we gotta <coughs> deal with that they're having meetings in the community uh, collaboration meetings community somebody's talking about you a lot in the community at least one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12. At least 13 people is watching you at this moment. Okay. It could be tarot readers. Like if you got a public platform like me, and if you're if you're not a tarot reader, uh, excuse me, but you 
make videos. It could be a tarot reader spying on you. But uh, us star seeds, we feel a lot of we we feel sensitive because we're remembering ourselves and our memories. This is about our identity. It makes other people sensitive because they're like, "What's wrong with this person? Are they okay?" And we can see orbs and things like that, and it, you know. But it's all about the way you communicate, you know, and you're you're using the earth element to help you, and this is about survival, adaptable, reliable. So, star seed, you have someone that's reliable. Just be patient. And then we have the Ebons, and that pulled out, and I think the Ebons is Scorpio energy. See that little moon like that? You know, or high priestess. Uh, mystery, reading between the lines, intuition. That's what that means. Okay, so uh, stay patient. You're reading between the lines. You're using your intuition the correct way. You might be using guidance. But there's also the men in black. Someone is stalking. They are all about intimidation and confrontation. Because um, they're not wanting you to... Uh, maybe they don't want you to be a, a tarot reader. I'm talking about for... This is women in your late 30s and four or 40s and 50s if you're listening to me it's somebody does not like the way you communicate in tarot okay i'm not talking about younger people i don't know how younger people get to be tarot guidance when they've never had enough life experience to guide people but some some people has money and money talks you know money talks when the bullshit walks have you ever heard that old saying boy ain't that true you know, I've never had a lot of money. I've always had to work for every fucking thing I got collective. And I'd be damned if there's anybody going to steal what I create. And now if I catch somebody doing that, they'll wish they hadn't have fucking done it. We'll put it that way, okay, collective? Let's put it that way. They will damn wish they hadn't have did that. All right, I'm getting out my cards to use. Let me see what this says today. Spirit. What is something for the collective? Psychic. You have finally honed intuition that leads, that lets you know and predict the future for others. Yeah, this is my energy. Psychic, that's why it's pulling out. <laughs> and for maybe one of you all that is a psychic also. Uh, let's see what else it pulls out. Oh, it pulled out medium. You're a psychic medium. You speak to spirits who have passed beyond the veil and bring hope and comfort to the living. Yeah, I do this. I can speak to my past over loved ones. I've always been able to do that. Okay. Let me put this up here. I'm trying to think what to do for us. What? What is these stalking bullies? What is the problem? Why why do they why are they worried about this person for the collective? Why does these son of a bitches have to be stalking? Why, spirit? Why why are they scared? Why do they hang on, I got one of my cards in here. Well, here's what it says. It, this person is thinking of making a bold and fast move towards you, but they're trying to plan it out well so they don't fail with you. So whoever's stalking you, this is a card I made. Uh, I think that whoever's stalking you, they're, they're, they're scared of confrontation, and it might be another star seed. It's a star seed that's an earth sign. But they, they're watching everything you do. Hang on a minute. And then it pulled out limits. It pulled out limit. Final straw. Overload. Breaking point. You're about at your breaking point with this person. You've had enough of this bullshit. Whoever it is. Uh, the, it's, it might be somebody that you used to be connected to. And you don't want nothing to do with the son of a bitch. But then again. I think their brain is overload. Don't. I think they're at a breaking point where they're wanting to come towards you. Uh, but this person that's bullying you, it, it's a past life karmic. It's a, they're having deja vu moments. Uh, th this person, they keep 
repeatedly doing shit over and over again, you know, and it's pushing somebody to the limits. But you have a spiritual connection, Collective. You have a spiritual connection, and this is a deep love. This is soulmates. This is unity. This is someone that you really care for, and and maybe someone has placed the stalking dicks all because you have a spiritual connection. This is a, somebody who is very tricky and dishonest and intangible, elusive. It's like, it's like, now you see me, now you don't. They they hide. They, they're they locking them down praying manis. You know, it says elusive on them praying manis cards, too. Well, that right there, I'll tell you what that means when you see that card. These people are dishonest and tricky. Are you listening? Whoever this is, uh, they're, they're hiding in the background. They're hiding in the background. They're waiting to see if you... They're waiting to see if you go towards uh they know that you're at you're at your final straw as karmic does. They know you've had enough of it. They fucking know it. You've outfed the damn fuck up. They know that they're a fucking karmic. They know they are. They know that this is a cycle that's gonna continue. They also know that you have a deep love with this soulmate connection of yours, this spiritual connection. And that's why they're being dishonest and tricky at the moment. So this might be someone that you might have had kids with or something. I, I, I That's the way I'm seeing it. Um, But they know that you're so charming and graceful and beautiful and luxurious and swans mate for life, twin flames. That's what they know. They know that part, okay? They, they know you're so beautiful, but they're scared of this. They're scared of rejection, irrational fear, saying no, dismissal. So maybe you, so maybe this spiritual person rejected you, and now you feel like, what's the point in even trying to spark this up again? Because if I was, there's always somebody in the background stalking and gawking and spying at every damn thing that you do. That's probably what somebody's thinking, just just by how that looks right there, okay? Hang on, I'm trying to get us something to read, Collective. I think I'm gonna do my crow tarot. I ain't did it in a while. Let's see what crow tarot says. If it's in the upside down, I'll turn it around you all because I ain't used these in a while. Wheel of Fortune. This is about cycles of life, ups and downs, luck. So. Like I said, it, somebody's pushed you to the breaking point. It, it, it's this karmic. It's the fucking karmic. And, and you know it, it's a never-ending cycle. But you're getting ready to be lucky. Uh, someone or you are going to get enough courage to move forward with raw power and determination. You're fucking, look at her. You're like that damn horse. You're like, dun 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 I'm a mighty powerful one. dun 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 you're going to have good luck if you move forward and stop worrying about all them ups and downs that you've had to go through. Let the fucking tower fall. Let, just let it fall. You know, this is going to be a drastic change when it happens. Upheaval. Catastrophe. Look at how all the birds are falling. See them? Like when that lightning struck, they all like plummeting down. But we all have to go through changes in life. Look, Star, it's you. This is about your wishes, your happiness. Maybe you follow astrology. You're very optimistic. Look how beautiful you are. You know, you're you're one of the beautifulest in the deck. You know, you're the star. I mean, you're the you're the be you're beautiful. That's why your beauty is elusive. I mean, it's just it just like. People's amazed by it. They're like, wow, that woman is still so beautiful. And you know, maybe you're in your 50s and you still look good. 40s or 50s. Hey, and that's that's good. You want to be a star, though, baby. 
seven of coins, you you know, because you started thinking about the long term and uh, and where you need to invest your time and energy into. You 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 did a lot of hard work and you've been planning and doing a lot of hard work. You've been building your you've been building your future. You know, like how crows builds a nest and birds builds a nest. You've been building. You've been build, building the life you want, and you're building a life of stardom. That's what you're building. Then we got King of Pentacles. You're going to have money, and you're growing. You're going to have a luxurious life. Maybe you're in a apprenticeship at the moment. Uh, you're very artistic. You got a pure heart. And and you're and, and this. This man right here, he shares all that he's accumulated. Oh, and he does. And and look at this. I have a I have a King of Pentacles. See our wings. Look at stars. Star knows who her king is now, buddy. She knows that she was her earth sign. Don't you think she don't know now, buddy? Because she knows that that earth sign loves her big. And some of my collective, you know it. Your earth sign loves you big, or you're the earth sign and they're the star. Just take it as it is. Star is Aquarius, of course, okay? And King of Pentacles is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And, uh, but uh, I think that maybe this King of Pentacles has been having a lot of a worry that's been consuming it, them, and they've had nightmares. They, they can't get out of their thoughts, they 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 keep replaying shit over and over again and and maybe it's because they need to come forward and tell you something for the luck to change they gotta come forward and tell you why this is worrying them and stuff uh, and then here we got six of swords and this is air energy and uh, maybe this king of pentacles wants to cut their losses and begin anew. Maybe feelings of regret over time. However, you'll be able to recognize the result was worth the sacrifice. So, they're up in their head. This this King of Pentacles is up in their head. This could be somebody that you're with right now or somebody that you was trying to move towards, okay? Uh, it just depends, but... When all appears lost, there is still opportunities if we look for them. Uh, feed your spirit by focusing less on materialism and more on relationships. See, so, so maybe this earth sign had to, they was up in their head over somebody else and they had to cut their losses so they could begin this relationship with you anew and stop letting this other person be in their fucking brain and maybe you didn't know it maybe maybe you didn't know it but somebody did have somebody else and you didn't know it but now i'm letting you know and then here we got two of pinnacles come out you know and this is in constant motion juggling uh their day-to-day -day task and responsibilities make sure to manage everything carefully so maybe uh <laughs> Maybe this uh, earth sign is having problems with doing their day-to-day -day life. And first off, they need to, whatever's in their head, they need to learn to let it out. That, that's, how, that's how you do it. If you don't let out what's inside of you, how are you going to be able to cut your losses and begin anew? You can't. You can't. So I'm trying to help someone out here right now today. Uh, that's what I'm trying to tell you. All right. But then right here on the, on the bottom is four of pentacles, you know, and this is about your accumulated, accumulated wealth, financially secure, comfortable life, saving for a rainy day. So, um, so, you know, anybody of common sense knows you have to save for a rainy day these days and times. I mean, anybody with common sense knows that. Hang on, I'm going to clarify what, what in the hell it's trying to tell with my cards. Hang on. With my deck that I made. Spirit. Spirit, what is it that... 
clarify, look, we're a true magician. Our gifts came from the divine. It ain't magic, man. This is Mercury and Beth energy. You got to choose the willpower and free will to choose the path that you want to. You know, this is about potential, uh, persuasion. So, uh, you, you, so maybe this King of Pentacles is trying to persuade you or something. I don't know. We'll see in a minute. They're alchemizing. Maybe they've been alchemizing to cut their losses and they ain't told you the truth about it. Oh, Knight of Cups. They're on a conquest. Uh, the, the, they've come at, uh, at, a, at a, uh, uh, arriving at a decision. Uh, this is about deceit and infidelity. They're alchemizing infidelity. Are you listening? That's what that's what this earth sign was doing. They're, they're alchemizing infidelity. I don't know who this is for, but we'll know. Oh, Queen of Cups, loving, caring, empathetic, intuitive mother figure in your life. So they're alchemizing uh, a, can a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces in their life. That's what it's saying to me. And on Star, it landed a Queen of Swords. Imagine that, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is about your security and your ideals, your inventions. People are stealing your ideals and your fucking inventions to take to their new life and build with this new person. Fuck you. That's not happening. I'm sorry I pulled out that person's energy. That was like, fuck you. It told me to say it. Sorry. Death, rest in peace. The devil wished death on you, but it's coming for him. Oh, you went through a transformation. This is about a renewal. You got new projects. This is about revolution, advancement, breaking. You might be breaking away, and you're going to cut ties with this violent son of a bitch. Yeah, because maybe the star is the one alchemizing. I don't know. Her or the king of pentacles, one to the other, but... You're getting ready to have, uh, to be able to collaborate. Somebody, uh, there's a negotiation taking place, seven of wands. You're alchemizing a, a collaboration. Oh, and somebody has arrived at, they are your emperor, a very strong, loving emperor, you know, a good man. They work hard daily, um. But it could be Sam where it where I pulled it out right here that they're up in their head because they abuse their power, abuse of power, adversity. Maybe your emperor kept you in adversity. It a uh, emperor is Aries, but an uh, emperor can be any man that you're married to that you thought was a good man and they took care of you. Are you listening? Yep, that's what emperor means. I just let it be known. And Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups come out. You, you, it's about going through a total metamorphosis. You're, you're, you're going to have abundance, and and your home life is going to be loving and caring and just blissfulness. Queen of Swords, I love you, spirit. <coughs> um, so, uh, Queen of Swords. This is about King of Wands. You're going to be a creative success. Uh, your ideals are going to be a success. Uh, you've been speaking of violence and a lot of wisdom. You're honest. You're very honest, Queen of Swords, and you're putting a death. You're putting a death to, um, hang on, let me get another one. Putting a death to what, Spirit? Putting a death to what? Putting a death to, putting a death to excess in your life, to excess, because you're all about earnings and, and, and your health, you know, because when you go through a death, there's a rebirth, you know. And that's how you come out anew. So you're focusing all your money on, uh, you're focusing all your time on money at the moment. You know, and there's nothing wrong with that collective. I believe that myself. You know what? I believe you need, we all need to be set up for the future. And, and that's what we're needing to do. But look at, I mean, you're alchemizing true love. I mean, you're alchemizing love. Success, money, you and your emperor. That's what it said. You're a magician and your old man's the emperor and you're all alchemizing this together. I love that spirit. Ooh, romance. 
Ooh, you're going to have a reveal flow saver. Somebody wants to entice you and savor every little damn moment and chance that they get to be with you. You got to open yourself to this romance. Looky there, maybe you're going somewhere beautiful like this and you're going to be sitting there and being like, oh, wow, baby, baby this is so b -b beautiful. I never imagined this. That's what you might be saying. Oh, gosh, outcome, results, a conclusion. There's an ending coming, and you will get a resolution. There's a there's an ending coming to an old relationship, so you, so uh, you're getting ready to resolve that issue. But twin flames, this is an eternal love. You re, this is about reincarnation, passion, twins seeking union. So this romance, the outcome is that you're twin flames, and and you're in love, and. You got to stop hesitating, you know, over his past heartbreak and broken trust. You're afraid to move forward. You're afraid to move forward and go towards your twin because somebody is, somebody's doing magic on you. Somebody is, you're hesitating, you're divine feminine, you seeking her twin or soulmate. Stop hesitating, feminine. Hang on, one fell on the floor. See, feminine, you got to let go of karmic partner, you know, this conventional relationship that you feel like there's, you know, you have a duty, you're bound by societal conventions. The outcome is you got to get rid of that damn karmic partner right there. You, the, there's no uh, ifs, ands, or knowns about it. You have to do it. Creativity. You're receiving inspiration at the moment. It. You're be, be, you're also needing to be very productive with your day and your creations. You, you're bringing out the greatness from within. Oh, wow, that's what you're learning how to do. You and your twin, they want to romance you. They want you to get out of this shit. They want you to move on. And the outcome is they love you. Stop hesitating, feminine. Get away from this karmic partner. Uh, they're... They're just stealing all your creative ideas in your sacred space, your altar. You need to pray about this a lot, collective. Remember to stay prayed up and place a place a aura around you so and your sacred space so nobody can mess with you. This is about communing with your own divinity, okay? In your sacred space so you can rise above. You know, so you can rise above drama. So you can rise above all these fucking obstacles and all this pettiness. And you can rise above and find the strength to rise. I love that card. I've never seen it. You need to find the strength to rise now. Darn it. What's on a romance? What's on a romance? Perception. What's being revealed to you is that there's a lot of down red flags and delusion, and and uh, you got to see through your own false beliefs with this karmic partner. You got to see through your own false beliefs with this karmic partner. That's what it was saying, okay, collective. But you're very fertile at the moment. Somebody wanted you to know that they know that you're damn very fertile, and they wanted to see you now, fertile myrtle. That's what it said. Hey, Fertile Myrtles. Fertile Myrtle, Myrtle, Fertile. Who's a turtle and who is Myrtle? I don't know. But you know, Collective, who is the Myrtle Fertile? Is it you, Collective? Oh, Wildy Woody. Here we got the liminal dance. Delicacy. Fragility. Transience. Love transcends all. You're noticing different shapes and patterns at the moment, and this, and you also know that this is a fragile situation. You, 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 you got a fragile situation because you got a twin flame, and you, and uh, you, you got a karmic partner that you've learned a lot of lessons with, and, and you got to learn to ch -ch -ch -ch. the relics of Lemuria, fragments, memory, reclaiming. See, you're reclaiming all them fragments, uh, the the uh, fragments of memories deep inside. You're reclaiming all that. Maybe you are a Lemurian. Uh, you're connected to water. 
Maybe you need to uh, travel somewhere around water so you can regain your memory back that you will understand that that was just a down up karmic and go towards your twin. Fairy energy is helping you. This is about growth, expansion, a flowering. Ooh, look there. So out in the night, I think that it's saying you, your, your light shines bright and others can see it, but you've been scared 30-30 to go outside and you're needing to do that at night. That's what it's saying. I think somebody might be doing magic on you at night too. See how it's like a light coming from that fairy. It can also be saying that. And then it has Dawn Watcher. This is, you have a caretaker, a guardian. You have support. They watch above you in the clouds, see? Like that card I made. Maybe you see a face peeking out through the clouds. See, I made I made that card before I ever found these cards. And, and it's true. I think that somebody uh, watches you of the morning. Somebody watches you in the morning, and you might not even be aware of it. And then we got the crystal path. This is about mineral spirits, crystal beings. So maybe you've been studying up on your crystals, and you've been using crystals on your path, and, and that's good. That'll help bring your spirit team around you, I think. And then we have the tree of souls. This is a collective wisdom, a kinship group library. So you you you've learned that you've got a lot of knowledge to share with your uh, collective, and and they and they know that you do, and, and they love you. It's like you got a library of knowledge, and they appreciate you so much. There's some beautiful cards. I think this is your sacred journey that you're on. You know, introversion seeker, seeker of self knowledge. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. Now, I don't know if this will go with y'all or not, so don't pay no mind if it don't. But I'm going to get some cards out of here and see what it says. It might say something good, and it might say something not so good. Just just uh, take the story as it is. Uh, Something for the collective. Yes. Your question, the answer is yes. Better than riding a big wheel. Yes, you're better than riding a big wheel back in the 80s. Remember the big wheels? Because you're a warrior from the past life. Yes, now they know that you're that you're going to be better than riding a big wheel. You're going to be the funnest they ever freaking had, and they love you. And they don't want to fail with you. Uh, they want to move towards you, warrior. Uh they just been scared, and Grandma is going to whoop that ice. Somebody's scared that Grandma is going to whoop that ice. Um, maybe it's that karmic, because you outwork five men in one day. <laughs> yes, you outwork five men in one day. Yes, they can't go where you're going. Yes, they can't. They can't. They think they can, but they can't. They think they can go where you're going, play plays, but, but they can't. Because God won't allow it. He's a smooth operator. You've got psychic powers. And you know that he's addicted to work. Or you're addicted to work. One toe of you, you're addicted to work. That's all I know. Reveal. They're going to be confessing their love to you. It's coming. It said reveal twice. So it's happening. Something big is happening, too. Something big is happening. A Chevy Silverado. Something big is happening. What is something big that's going to happen, Spirit? Progress for forgiving your enemies. Something big is happening. I think your enemies is going to prison or something. Huh. And that's what you didn't know. The stars brought you together to shine for all to see. See, you're progressing. Oh, they love you too. You just keep doing your work, bye bye. You just keep on keeping on, okay? Because your best friend, they are going to be begging for your forgiveness. Ooh, this might be uh, your divine masculine or divine feminine that you've been wondering where they're at. 
And uh, they had to let go of a karmic too. They know what you're meant to be a drug counselor. And that happiness haters, they're going haywire and crazy at the moment. They're, they're, they, their brain is shooting off in different directions. And he said he wants you to know now, women, that he knows how to hit the G spot. <laughs> Woo! Well, that's good to know, ain't it, women? Wow. We, we, well, we want that. We don't want somebody that don't know how to hit it, do we? <laughs> Ooh, 35, 35, 88. Delays waiting and waiting. You've been waiting and waiting on this knowledge from this smooth talker to tell you. You've been waiting and waiting. And the answer is yes, he fucking wants you. Maybe he knows you're going to get out of that karmic partnership at a restaurant. It's been a lot of waiting and waiting with some um, information you've been waiting on about a restaurant. Somebody done to you it's something at a restaurant, it said. Hang on. You had to only take the necessities replaying over and over again in their mind. You got this. I don't know what that is, but it sounds like something happened at somebody's work. If you worked at a restaurant and you left that place and Spirit was proud that you did because, oh, I love you. What did this say? You, you was defending what was rightfully yours. They was doing black magic on you at this restaurant. Did y'all run out of tricks to play on me, I'm asking? You're going to reap what you sow. Ooh, Grandma. Grandma's getting her ass whooped by her dead grandma. Ain't that funny? Yes, it really is. You never know what you're going to get in life. But as for me and mama, she didn't raise no damn fool. Who? They love messing and playing in your energy. These porn star slut wannabes. Karmic doesn't want you to be with your true love. But we don't really give a fuck, can't you see? Can't you see? Can't you see? Ooh, can't you see? What the hell, woman? She been doing to me. An investigator is watching your every move. There come the men in black out again for two and two. Do you get it? A disrespective, arrogant, greedy piece of shit. They, they hired an arrogant, greedy man to follow you around and they're just a greedy asshole. Or that's that karmic. And uh, no one can control a divine being. They told everybody you're an arrogant piece of shit. That's what it was in Greedy. Magical powers to you and me, my dear. And not to these karmic stupid asses. No, no, not to them. Their wicked ways. Their wicked ways is catching up to them. Don't worry. And love grows where you water it. So somebody's been loving... So somebody's been uh, putting all their love on a porn star slut wannabe. They've been pouring all their water on a slut. Well, tell you right now, slut, if you fucking around with my old man, my my karmic or my old man, I tell you right now, you're going to get what the fuck you deserve, you old stupid skankerton. Just letting you know. I think these little skankerton sluts, they like to slut around that night time you know when you're in a bed of sleep on the weekends then they like to chit chat on the weekends with your husbands and see uh yeah do your backgrounds i will be going south for a vacay and and they're going to be going to prison wicked ways you're going to prison your magical twins and magical powers to you they want it to punish you magical twins and your powers and these karmic men followed you here to this life for thrills they're going south for a vacay going to prison don't worry that's where they're going and they had ulterior motives and you can concur some of me you've had to go through the same shit that i had that's what the fuck that means now let's give us some angel messages and then I believe that's that'll be about it today, collective. And I love you guys and I hope this helps somebody. And remember I got my numbers in here also, okay? 
yet. Okay. Ooh, baby. Hang on, I just... Somebody wants to give you a kiss. <laughs> Ooh, hear what it said now for you, my babes, that I love so, so much. Nobody has permission to steal my cards. Nobody's ever thought of these. And when I see them put out on somebody else's channel, I'm going to come over and rip them right off the fucking shelves. And we're going to say, hey, copyright, copyright. You can see who made these cards, and they'll, they'll link it right back. I've done... I've done caught five readers that did this to me. Five. I'm just letting you know. And I know they, they got a lot of subscribers. And I could shut down their shit right now. So they better not fuck with my angel gifts. I'm telling you right now. I'm not warning again. Your angels gave you the gift of being very creative. You're great at art, music, dance, or writing. You have many talents. Yeah, this is me. That's why I wrote it. Your angels gave you the gift to be a star. All you have to do is envision the life you want to live, and spirit will bring it to you with hard work and dedication. Yes, this is so true. That's why I made it. Your angels gave you the gift of confidence. When you walk in a room and all eyes gravitate towards you, well, you stand proud. People know how to look to you. When they see you, they're like, I know who the fuck that is. <clears throat> I know I better not fuck with this person, because when I do, I fucked over a, a, a great opportunity. On, uh, when you see 1717, you're on a path to achieving your goals and dreams. You have a sole mission to complete this life. You're very sentimental and hopelessly in love. You never lose your zeal in life, and, and your lovers never get tired of you. You and your twin share the same soul. Perfect union of two souls becoming one, 1717. All eyes are on you, star. All eyes are on you, star, and they... They love it when you sing, baby, baby. 1717, 88 again. Abundance. 2020. Energizes you to take action right away. Trust your senses. Use your gifts. This is about a solid connection, stability, huge potential. Remove mental blocks and unleash new passion. I mean, and unleash new possibilities. Trust and keep the faith that it's all going in the plan. It's all going in the plan, babes. Don't you think that it ain't? Because Spirit said, yes, it is now. Yeah, 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 yes, it is. Oh, can we have one of these? Oh, gosh, you're going to be rejoicing. Embrace your loving connection in it and rejoice. Surprise, you may be a you may be about to be surprised. Oh, they want to give you a gift? Oh, they want to rejoice with you? Signs. Watch out for signs leading you to your true love. So rejoice. You're going to be surprised because uh, your true love has been noticing these signs and they're on their way to you, baby. That's what it meant now. Oh, God. Yeah, because looky here. Looky here. Be ready to receive what fate has planned for you. Be receptive to this connection. Your connection is eternal and unbreakable. That's why I rejoice in it. Love, love conquers all. Oh, wow. This is true. Love comes when you least expect it, my collective. And I hope that... Oh, and look here. Signs, signs everywhere. Are signs rocking and rolling, breaking my mind. Two days don't do that. Can't you read the signs? 11, 11 is an important number for twin flames. It symbolizes the harmony and balance of soul counterparts. So you're with your your your, your true loss coming to you. They admire you. They want you. They love you. They need you. They have to have to have you. And that's all I have for you today, Collective. And if you love my reading today, please help me and take a stand. Because this was a good damn reading. Take a stand and, and hit like. Hit like. That's all you got to do. That's all I ask for. Hit like. Hit like. Hit like. Hit like. Anybody that watches my video all the way through, hit like. Hit like. Hit like. Even if you watch it fucking 45 seconds, hit like. Hit like. But you won't hear that part. So, anyways, if you're new, please hit subscribe, you all. I'm trying to give a deck away. I'm a different tarot reader. I'm, I'm trying to give back to the collective. I set a goal for 500. 
I set it for a thousand. I lowered it to five hundred. I'm not lowering it anymore. I'm on four seventy seven. Hurry up, and let me get five hundred. I will put all your names into a drawing in a hat. As soon as I get to five hundred, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a a, a a a viewing. I'll go live and I'll do a live and I'll pull out for who want it. And then you'll have to let me know uh, where to send it to. All right, collective. And I love y'all and I hope y'all go after your goals and dreams. And it was great to talk to y'all, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Peace is.